He joined the team late, rarely has any lines in either movie, and often gets left out of promotional material. This is the history and origins of the Ghostbusters, Winston Zeddemore. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single history and origins video. Before joining the Ghostbusters, Winston had gone to the Air Force Command School, was a black belt in karate, was a small arms expert, and a devout Baptist. It's mentioned in the novelization that Winston has a number of brothers and sisters, but the exact number is never given, and he was living with his mother after serving in the military until joining the Ghostbusters. Along with working parties alongside Ray, Winston also worked for an airline before returning to the team in the second film. Winston put himself through college by working as a fortune teller at Coney Island, and according to Ghostbusters the video game, in between the events of Ghostbusters 2 and the video game, Winston attained his doctorate in either history or Egyptology. That part's not made clear. However, what is made clear is his fear of clowns. According to IDW Comics, Winston was enlisted in the Marine Corps. During the trial of the Ghostbusters in the second film, IDW showed that Winston had stepped into the hall and came across two angry police officers holding another container of slime. The slime eventually manifested into Mama Scolari. The only thing Winston was able to come up with to fight the ghost was a lone ghost trap due to all the other equipment being confiscated. Winston managed to trap Mama Scolari by first mocking her, a page taken out of Bankman's handbook, so that she would charge him and all he'd have to do is open the trap on her. In the first film, Winston was originally going to be named Ramsey and was meant to be played by Eddie Murphy, who opted out of the role due to starring in Beverly Hills Cop. Many of Winston's original lines were eventually given to Bill Murray, which is why Winston became the everyman of the group and was added late. Winston was originally meant to be the security officer of the group all the way up until the final script when it was changed. What's also surprising is that Winston was originally meant to be the one to summon the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. However, that part was eventually given to Ray. In a future video, I'll be going over my theory of who's actually responsible for Mr. Stay Puft's summoning. Winston was going to be one of the original Ghostbusters, but it was decided to have him join later to show they needed help to deal with the rising number of spooks thanks to Gozer's impending arrival. In an earlier version of the script, Winston's resume was more detailed. It stated that he was in the service for five years, was an Air Force police captain, assigned to administer perimeter security at Reese Strategic Air Command Base, designed electronic barrier systems for sentry alarms, ended up as VP Tactics and Training at Pacific Headquarters until the offices were closed down, was a 15th degree black belt in Wing Chun Boxing, and was a qualified award-winning weapons handler. It was revealed by Janine that Winston was hired so quickly during the first film because he was the only one who showed up to open interviews. As stated earlier in the video, in our next Ghostbusters video entitled Ghostbusters Explained, The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, I'll not only be going over the history and origins of the character, but I'll also explain in depth exactly how Ray isn't the only Ghostbuster to blame for conjuring him in the first place. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.